everyone! We often talk a lot about maintenance, but not enough about the installation itself. This leads to people often wondering how to actually start locks. Deciding on what type of locks you want is essential, but then you face the problem of which locking method is best suited to you. Here are the main ways to lock your hair, as well as their various pros and cons. Two-strand twists. This method is pretty popular. It requires you to wrap one piece of hair around the other, that is to twist the two pieces of hair together. The advantages of this method include that twists are very simple to install and don't take as long as other methods. If they unravel, you can fix it yourself. And they are easy to undo if you change your mind about locking your hair. However, you should not make the decision to get lost if you are not certain that this is what you want for the foreseeable future. See our post, How to Decide on Locks. The disadvantages of this method is that unraveling is extremely common, so you will have to retwist the hair often, especially when washing. It takes a long time for your hair to stop looking like twists and start looking like locks, so the locking process can be quite slow compared to other methods. And shrinkage is inevitable. People with curly hair already struggle with this. Two strand twists don't pull or stretch the hair in any way, which causes it to shrink even more. Chrome coils. This method requires a bit more skill than the two strand twists. Professional opticians tend to prefer to use a coil twist comb, but a normal rat tail comb can also suffice. You take the edge of the comb to the root of a section of hair, then roll the comb while pulling downwards. The advantages of this method are that the coils look nice and shiny in the beginning, and it will look like an actual hairstyle instead of just a way to achieve your locks. Also, the installation time is fairly short, even with thick hair. The disadvantages, however, are that frizziness is unavoidable. After you wash your locks, they will look messy, and you'll have to go back and maintain the coils. Unraveling is also an issue for this method. And lastly, getting the coils done properly and in the size that you want will take practice. So DIY could prove difficult and it might be best to go to a professional for this one. Interlocking. Now this is my favorite method since it's the one that I use to maintain my own locks. If you'd like to see how it's done, check out the video in the description. I talk about interlocking a lot, so I'll direct you guys to the best polls for information regarding the pros and cons of it, and that will probably be for my series Types of Locks, Interlocks, Sister Locks, and Pam Rolled Locks. The link to this is also in the description. Also, if you're wondering about the palm rolling method, it is used a lot in maintaining locks, but seldom do people actually start their locks by doing it, so I won't go into detail about it in this video. Freeform, aka matting. All that you need to do for this method is to sit back, relax, and do absolutely nothing. Freeform locks are exactly as the name suggests. You leave your hair alone, no manipulation or styling, and let it mat together and lock on its own. The advantages of this method would be that there's no effort required. Also, tender-handed individuals can avoid the parting and stress on the scalp that other locking methods can cause. In addition, no gel or products of any kind are required to start your locks. The disadvantages of this, however, is that it takes very long for the hair to mat by itself. Also, the appearance that your hair takes on might not be very tidy and could leave you looking a little unkempt if the locks form in awkward positions. Tell us in the comments below, what method did you use to start your locks?